Hey everyone, let's take a look at Greenlight's 2024 catalogue. So it's just come out, I found out from Twitter or X, and they have released what's coming out next year. So let's have a look at this online catalogue. I'll put a link in the description below and we can see what's coming up. So instructions to green light. And here we go. So we've got 164 pages, 11 till 44, which is what I'm mainly interested in. Then we've got 143, 124, 118, and 112. So let's oops, let's have a look through. Okay, so green light collectibles. What's this? Announcement. New president, Vincent Tang. Okay, cool. You know who the big guy is now at Greenlight. Born and raised in Hong Kong, but in Canada and the UK. And he's worked. Yeah, he's basically worked in the West quite a lot, which is pretty cool. Motul. So we've got a new licensing agreement with Motul. Packaging preview, newest editions, we've got a showroom floor, stampede, Mustang focused. And it says a green light teams up with Hendrick Motorsports. That's pretty cool. New for 2024. So, oh, here we go. Look at this. Coming soon. 1982 to 1992 Chevrolet Camaro RS Z28. IROC Z Coupe and T Top. Nice. Upcoming release as well. Ford Thunderbird 1973 to 76. Upcoming releases in the Hollywood series. The Crow 1994. That was. Yeah. I remember everyone was really into that film when I was younger. Um. T-Birds 1973 Ford Thunderbird with Supercharger. Wow, yeah, they're really uh, going into a wide range of films. So, uh, green light. I hope if um, they're watching this video, I like Dodge Vipers. In that film, Wanted, Angelina Jolie, you drives Dodge Viper. I'd love to get a miniature 164 version of that. Okay, back to this. So, we're gonna get a new Dodge Challenger. 2015 to 2022 and we've got all these different variations so we've got standard wide body scat pack shaker hellcat demon and so on and here it's got a little breakdown so you've got two front cores three spoilers three front air dams five engines five hoods and so on let's have a look what else we're getting Ooh, we're getting a 2024 Ford Mustang GT slash Dark Horse Coupe and Convertible. Lots of different wheel options here. I'm getting a Cadillac Eldorado Convertible from 71 to 76, featuring three body types, three heights. We've got the regular, low rider and donk. Top up and top down options. Okay, it's not just the convertible without the hood. We're gonna have several different ones. Free bump, free rear bumpers, two boots, two dashboards, and so on. So you've got lots of different choices here that they're going to release. We're also going to get this Ford F450 Julie. Look at that, you've got like basic sort of <clears throat> bed and you've got different different service beds. And that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got the GMC Sierra HD dual and single rear wheel. So lots of different variations there too. Okay, so I think that's it really for 2024 um, in terms of what they're doing new. And I think the rest of this catalog is maybe items they already have out really. Um, so 164 is all about packing excitement in a tiny form and so on. You can read that yourself if you want to pause it. 
but let's take a look at some of the series. So we've got Hot Pursuit, lots of police patrols right here. Let's have a look. What's this? Yellowstone. 50 top notch TV and movie license agreements. So we've got such as Grease, Cold Pursuit, Yellowstone, Rocky, Poltergeist, Robocop, I've already got but I haven't reviewed yet. Rain Man, Thelma and Louise, and Fargo. So here we've got Grease. Home Improvement. <laughs> I remember that when I was young. Um, that 1949 Grease Mercury Convertible. That's pretty nice. Jeep Wrangler. Cold Pursuit. Cool. And here we've got Artwork in Progress. So we're going to have another Terminator. Got a true romance film. I think that was with Christian Slater. Um, the Crow, as mentioned earlier in the new 2024 castings. And another John Wick, Plymouth Cuda. Okay. Let's see what we've got next here. Hitch and Toe. So we've got... I think these four are already available. But so the new ones at the bottom. Artwork in progress. Ford Four Door from 42. 1970 Harvester Scout. 1991 Ford FT50 and a 2018 Nissan Titan XD Pro 4X with an enclosed car hauler that looks that sounds cool um, Nissan Titan eh let's see what we've got here as well so we've got the Ford F-150 the Ram 2500 and the Chevrolet Silverado and they've all got these, there's some kind of a attachment on the back. Uh, look, oops, um, look at this one from Gone in 60 Seconds. Got Eleanor damaged to make the film. Cool, okay. So next we've got Running on Empty. We've got these from the 60s, 80s, and then 90s. Club V Dub. All about the Volkswagen. Volkswagen Thing from 1973. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got next. Monster Trucks King of Crunch. 14th series. Let's see what we've got. Dodge Power Ram, GMC. We've got all these. What's that one? Playing for keeps. <laughs> okay, and first blood. Fair enough. Okay. Ah, okay. This was like part of the new 2024 lineup. The Stampede Series 1. The Stampede is here. The Mustang Stampede is a celebration of everything that makes these pony cars and the people who own them so special. So you've got here something. Oh, yeah. Got like. 60s, 70s, 90s version, 2010s, 2020, and 1980s. So we've pretty much got something from nearly every decade, really. I've got the Mac one from the Barrett um, auction version, which I will review. That is cool. Ford Mustang Cobra from the 70s. And what's this one? Ah yeah, GL Muscle. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got the Mustang Mach 1 again, just in yellow. I think that's already out. Um, Chevrolet Camaro 67, Chevrolet Nova 69, a Ford Mustang Cobra. Okay, Dodge Durango. Art artwork in progress, so we're also going to get here at the bottom Mercury Cougar Eliminator, Plymouth Hemi Cuda. Chevrolet Chevelle. I just got a Hot Wheels version of that recently. Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat in blue. Chevrolet Camaro in a silver ice metallic. And then a 2022 Ford Mustang Mach 1 in eruption green. Let's get those to look forward to. Okay, Showroom Series 4 that's coming out. What are all these SUV type vehicles? We're also going to get at the bottom some new ones. Ram 2500, Jeep Gladiator, Chevrolet Silverado, 
and Tahoe, Ford Bronco and another Mustang Mach-E GT. Okay, oh, Smokey Bear. I've got a Series 1 version, um, which I will review later as well. I can't, all right, so they're going to go ahead with Series 2. Fair enough. Look at this Ford Bronco. Willie's Jeep. Smokey Bear. I love this classic artwork. It's really nice. Illustrations. Jeep Gladiator with a canoe on the roof. That's a cool addition. That fire equipment one that's in black, that was released in a red in Series 1 already. So there's just some recolors, really. Um, artwork in progress. Dodge Power Wagon Fire Truck. Harvester Scout. Volkswagen Type 2. GMC Suburban. Ford 250. And a Nissan Patrol. Okay. Now we're going to move on to... 164 Anniversary Collection Series 15. So, that 2021 Ford Police Interceptor Utility, I can see that being a very popular casting. Um, a Ford Taurus from Robocop. We've got this time, we've got a weathered version with dust all over it. At the top, we've got a Ford F100, Ford Thunderbird, and a Chevrolet C10. We've got a lot of C10s that Greenlight have done already. Um, what else have we got here? Artwork in progress, Ford Super Deluxe 4-door, Cadillac Eldorado, Nissan Patrol, Ford F-150, Ford Shelby and the Chevrolet Tahoe Police Pursuit Vehicle. That's pretty cool, from 2023. Okay, Black Bandit series. What are they doing? That so, let's take a look through Ford. I mean, I've already seen that Ford Mustang. Mac E GT for sale already. Okay, let's have a look at the next section. California Lowriders, Chevrolet Impala, Mercury 8 chopped top convertible. Started to use little resin figures as well. I think they're great for dioramas, but they can be quite expensive. They certainly add up when it's like $20 or £20 for a figure. Okay, what have we got here? California Lowride. Oh, continues on. Ford Fordor, Super Deluxe. Chevrolet Biscayne. Cadillac and Chevrolet. Let's see what else we've got here. Our first Responder Series. Jeep Cherokee. That's cool. Fire and Rescue Series 4, some more liveries but same vehicles that we've seen before. Now oh, here we go, Battalion 64, M4, Sherman Tank, Hurricane, and that's pretty cool. I'll have a look out for that camo one. I think they've done one in just a plain olive green. The Jeep DJ5 just reviewed the US Army World War II version of that. Okay, Barrett Jackson. I, I think I've seen uh, these on for sale on eBay. The Chevrolet Corvette C8 I was looking at. Jeep Gladiator Elephant. Gecko Green. It's quite a cool choice there. So we've got, what's this? Durley, oh, Jewelry Drivers. Okay. We've got a golf livery, it's cool. Um, here we've got coming up as well some different liveries, but we've probably seen these same vehicles before. Then we've got some accessories so we've got post lifts, four post lifts, and um, we've even got some wheel and tyre pack series. So, good for swapping Norman Rockwell.
garbage pail kids. Okay. I have no idea. I never watched that. Great Outdoors. Chevrolet C20. Classic tents that ooze nostalgia to the cool factor of rooftop tents and truck bed setups. Nice. Blue collar. All terrain. So at this point, I can see they just they've got the same casting, but they're just doing a lot of new liveries for each of the series to create some variation. Estate wagons. Vintage ad cars. So that Shelby GT500. There's a lot of variations of that. That green light I've done. 69 as well. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Trucks. UPS. Got the Ford F three fifty with nineteen sixty nine figure nineteen sixty nine Ford Mustang. It's classic. SD trucks. There's a good variation of, of vehicles here, and we've got these Volkswagen vans, hobby exclusive branded ones. GMC Venture Vandura custom van or surfing design that, was, that looks quite nice. Ah, uh, hobby exclusive. So Jeep Gladiator Super Jeep Tribute. Also got Chevrolet Camaro, Dodge Challenger, and so on. And we've got some more Ford Shelby in the Golf livery. Scout Comanche. Look at that Chevrolet Scottsdale with that. That's a cool design. And then we've got a Chevrolet C20 Silverado Camper Special with a Winnebago Slide In Camper. It's got your little mobile home there. Okay, 143 now. Thelma and Louise. Freightliner Truck. Optimus Prime. When will they get the Transformers license? They could do a cool Optimus Prime truck. That would be so wanted in my collection. Rocky IV. Look at that Lamborghini Jalpa. Ah, it's a shame it's not in 164. That would be brilliant. But this casting looks great. And the bigger the size, you know, it's got more space to breathe for the design to get those details in. Instead of trying to cram it in. Got John Wick. And the Cold Pursuit Fargo, as mentioned, the movie licenses, Rocky 2, now 124, we've got that classic Pontiac Fiber Trans Am. Beautiful, but not my scale. Terminator, Starsky and Hutch. We've got running on empty series at 124. Hot Pursuit. John Wick now at 118. It's getting bigger and bigger. Pinnacle of craftsmanship. Look at all these opening parts. Doors, moving steering wheels, intricate engines and grills. Plymouth Cuda. They've really got to work that license. Get it out in as many scales as possible while they've got that. These are the other ones. Got Ford Mustang Cobra in that green. 1980s. Looks like a brute of a vehicle. Look at that massive monster truck. 66 inch tyres replica. The Bigfoot. I've seen a few Hot Wheels versions of that in blue. We've got a Ford GT500 from 2011. Then we've got some gas pump accessories. 
highway 61 Dodge Challenger SRT8 look, looking cool um, artisan collection for me they said that 118 is you know the pinnacle of craftsmanship and you know you can put more details in and all that stuff but actually, I've, you know 164 if you can get something replicated down to a miniature scale I'd say that is also that also shows pinnacle of craftsmanship because it's like what do you leave in what do you leave out and I know why a lot of brands leave out the wing mirrors because they're just too tiny and um, reading about how Tomica make theirs as well they discuss how the um, door handles are oversized because otherwise they, they yeah it would just be so small to put in so they have to oversize some parts to get it to look like the car complete and they have to although they want to strictly adhere to 164 they can't always okay what's this bespoke collection oh resin okay they do resin once they go john wick 69 ford mustang boss starskin hutch We've got some good licenses here. A Team, our IndyCar series. They've got it at 164 and 118 scales. So these are the 118 ones. And they even got the figures of the drivers. Then they're sponsored outfits. Okay, there you go. Got those. What have we got here? IndyCar. Okay, Evergreens. Greenlight understands that for many items, they never go out of style. Uh, demand, sorry. So they keep them. We strive to keep these items either in stock or within 60 days or less of new inventory. Yeah, so these are like items that anyone can just, that they think will sell across no matter what now. It's like timeless classic. 18 van, definitely, is always going to be fans of that. The Godfather, Terminator. And they do them in all scales, like 118, 24, 43 and 64, most of them. John Wick. 64 maybe they'll upgrade that to 24 and 18 later on in the future anyway but yeah gone in 60 seconds absolute classic film and vehicle eleanor um yeah that would make sense okay so we've got here more evergreen items oh yeah we've got like u.s postal service ups some delivery trucks italian job and then we've got some other ones here as well I look forward to more military castings. I think the tanks are amazing. Um, the plastic is quite is fragile, but as a model, it, it's really nice at this kind of scale. Okay, so we've got some other information here about ordering. There we go. Let me know what you think, what you thought of um, all these releases. Do you have any that you really want to get? Um, which ones have you got and are happy with? But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this uh, catalog go through and um, like and subscribe for more diecast car reviews. Take care.